Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What is going on guys, Brian Showman's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are in final order cutoff this week. And although the list is small, the list is quality over quantity this week. These are the books that I like, these are the books that I'm interested in picking up, these are the books that I'm interested in reading, and there's some great ones on this list. And also, there's a bunch, and I mean a bunch of late printings or additional printings and we'll get to those at the end of this video but if this is your first time here watching this video if this is your first time on my channel please consider subscribing and let's get right into it starting with image comics we get that gunslinger spawn number one that's right one of the most beloved characters out of the spawn universe this is that second additional monthly title that they're introducing and spawn fans have been clamoring for this we've had spawn we just had that king spawn that first monthly title and now we get Gunslinger Spawn. There's a bunch of great covers for it. You got Todd McFarlane himself. You got Greg Capullo doing some. There's a whole bunch of artists, a whole bunch of covers. I always say I like to pick up that cover A and then pick up the covers that I like from the specific artist. I actually do like the Greg Capullo cover. I also like the sketch cover on this. And I love these new titles because they are perfect for me because I am not the biggest Spawn fan. So it introduces me to that Spawn universe as a late arrival. Then moving over to Dark Horse, that's right, for the past few weeks, we've been talking about quite a few Dark Horse books, which is pretty odd, because I don't talk about Dark Horse books too often on here. But we have another one. This is actually a continuation of a previous Dark Horse series that I really adored, and I'm excited this one's coming back. And that is No One Left to Fight 2, issue number one. This kicks off right where the last mini series left off which is why i always say don't get upset when books come out in mini series anymore because you never know when a new volume might come up so no longer is hey mini series are bad sequential issues are great here we're getting no one left to fight two issue number one love 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 the first series it had critic acclaim it had fan acclaim and if you're a fan of like Dragon Ball or the Street Fighter video game series, this is a comic that's right up your wheelhouse. I love this one. There's the regular cover. There's also a cover B. And that cover B is going to be part of a connecting cover image. Love those. So that way, if you pick up the cover B throughout the series, it's going to create one nice big image for you. But I'm excited. No one left to fight is coming back. Then from Marvel, we're getting Amazing Spider-Man number 76. Just talked about issue number 75. Don't talk about that Amazing Spider-Man series too often on here, but do bring it up when issues or storylines kind of pop off. Here we are getting what looks to be the death of Peter Parker. Marvel has solicited this. They are bringing Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider back in front and center for the time being at least. We all know Peter Parker can't be gone forever. This is getting into what Marvel is calling that beyond era for Spider-Man. And it's got the regular cover. It's got one of the Joe Jusco Marvel Masterpiece card variants. And there is a 1 in 25 Patrick Gleason variant. And what I love about the Gleason variant, it is not one of those what I like to call Charlotte Web variants where the image is made out of a spider web. I like the 1 in 25 variant for this. Who knows how how monumental this Peter Parker storyline might be either now or in the future and one in 25 and this a black cover so you all know high grade down the road one in 25 might be hard to get so if i can secure that one in 25 patrick gleason variant at ratio price meaning one in, meaning it being a one in 25 if i can get it for 25 dollars or below through pre-order that is what i'm going to try to do then from aftershock comics we get cross to bear number one this looks like another great story, and it kind of crosses over into that horror slasher storyline, which I'm really excited for, one of my favorite comic genres. And in Cross the Bear, we get Jack the Ripper never being caught, and that's because he was never looked for in the Wild Wild West until now with the Order, and that Order is made up of descendants of Crusaders who have sworn to eradicate the unnatural. So that right there sold me on this series. And Aftershock has a proven track record for 
putting out great stories, especially from that independent small press publisher side of the house. And I only see one cover for this at the time, so you don't have to go hunting a bunch of covers if, you want, if you're a completionist. But either way, I'm looking forward to this series and it's hitting fun or cut off this week. You know the Dynamite. That's right, Dynamite Comics. Definitely don't talk about Dynamite too much on here. But one of my favorite movie series of all time is that old Evil Dead Army of Darkness. Huge, huge, huge Bruce Campbell fan. Love Bruce Campbell. And we all know him as Ash in the Evil Dead or Army of Darkness. Here we're getting Army of Darkness 1979. We're actually talking about issue number two here. Didn't talk about issue number one on this video series, but I did pick the issue up when it was on store shelves because, like I said, love Army of Darkness, love Bruce Campbell, and the issue was really, really great, especially if you're a fan of that genre. If you're not a fan of that genre, maybe if you're a fan of Philadelphia from Image Comics, this is from that same creator who also has Hollywood chops in the background now. Slow your roll. I'm not saying this book's gonna be a movie, TV series, or whatever, because it stands in its own right with its own franchise. But if you like horror, if you like Army of Darkness, if you like 1970s New York City, this is a great series to pick up. There's some great covers for it. And bonus tip, they added a bonus FOC cover for all the Stray Dog fans out there. There is a bonus Final Order cutoff cover by Tony Fleeks, and it has that Stray Dogs look to it combined with the Army of Darkness movie poster. Love that cover, love the Matina cover as well. Love all the covers, actually. I just don't have the money to pick them all up, so I'm gonna have some decision-making to do. But either way, this one's going on my pre-order. Then we're talking about a Xenoscope book. That's right, Xenoscope. It's this crazy video this week. We're talking about Dynamite, we're talking about Xenoscope. But this one's mostly just a cover pick for me. And when I say cover pick, I like the art on this one specific cover. For, so that's what I'm interested in add to my collection and I wanna share it with you. And from Xenoscope, we are getting Tales of Terror Annual, Goddess of Death. I absolutely love the cover C on this one, which is by Ivan Tao. Hope I say that name correctly, because as I always say on here, I, I mispronounce names all the time. And I am sorry it's not done out of disrespect, but this cover C is absolutely gorgeous. It is one of those ones when you're scrolling through, hey, what's coming out this week? That cover just stood out to me. I love this one. I'm going to pick this one up. I'm going to pre-order it so that way I know my shop is carrying it. I love the way the white and the red and the colors just stand out against it. Kind of has almost... Uh, Perio type look to it, except it's lighter. Perio does a lot of dark stuff and Del Otto, a lot of those great different painters. Either way, Xenoscope not only does some great covers, they actually do have some good series. A lot of times you hear, oh, Xenoscope, they're just titty books. No, there are some great stories in there. There's some great creators behind some of those stories. And a lot of those creators move on into other titles, into other publishers. So don't just discount Xenoscope books because I'm saying this one is a cover pick for me. This is the cover that stood out. And I love it, so I'm definitely getting this pre-ordered. And also, just like last week when I mentioned those Joe Gisco Marvel 1992 Skybox Marvel Masterpieces cards, there are more of those variants hitting different series this final cutoff as well. So if you're trying to collect those Joe Gisco variants, just like I am because of that nostalgia of those 1992 cards, or if you're just a fan of Joe Gisco, or if you're just a fan of those covers, there are more hitting final order cutoff. So I wanted you to be aware of those as I have those up on the screen right now. And then lastly, like I said at the beginning of the video, there are a bunch of additional printing, especially from Image Comics, especially if you're a Department of Truth fan. We are getting issues seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All of those are getting second prints and hitting final order cutoff this week. As well as from Image Comics, we are getting that Me You Love in the Dark Issue number two, getting a second print, and Ordinary Gods. Issue number three, getting that second print, also from Image Comics. From Marvel, we get Dark Ages, issue number one, getting a second print. We are getting Dark Hawk, issue number one, with the second print. Moon Knight, number one, is getting a third print. Then we are also getting that X-Men Trial of Magneto, issue number one, with a second print. And then lastly, from independent publisher, Black Mass, Studios, we are getting white number three with a second print. So there it is, guys. Like I said, small list this week. There's some great books on here. I'm actually, I 
sometimes love smaller weeks because it takes a little bit of pain off my wallet when it comes to pre-orders. But let me know in the comments what books are you guys reading, what books you guys pre-ordered, what series are you excited for that you've heard that are coming up. Either way, put those in the comments for me. Hit that like button, and if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. This is Brian with Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video.